Hey guys, welcome back. How is everybody doing? Long time no vlog. See what I did there? Long time no vlog. Long time no see. You guys, it has been, I think, almost two weeks since I posted my last vlog. Which, by the way, thank you for all the love and support on that last video. That last video was from Paris. I have to say, I am quite proud of that vlog. I really enjoyed it very much, and I know you guys did too. So thank you so much for watching that. I got a lot of views in it, on it, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I am home today. I'm on reserve. Um, I'm on reserve as of 30 minutes ago. It's 11.30 right now. My reserve period is from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. I actually worked out this morning. I went to a workout class at 9 30 So it was a one-hour workout class So I knew I'd be able to get out in time so that I'd be available just in case I do get that phone call that I have to go to work That dreaded phone call. Gio! Hi Gio! Say hi to everybody! Say hi to everybody, little cutie. But I have so much to talk to you guys about, so much to update you guys on. But first, I have to make a little protein shake, a little snack for my post-workout meal. I haven't even had a bite to eat yet, so I'm about to do that right now. And I'm gonna put some berries in it. And why are these berries open? I haven't even touched these berries yet. So we know who that culprit is for opening up my berries. Um, but anyways, it's okay. We sh but it's okay, we share everything. Sorry, I think my camera turned off. Um, so let me just make this protein shake and then I will update you guys on my life and things to come. A few moments later. Mmm, so good. Um, oh, and by the way, I got some packages today in the mail, so we definitely have to open these on camera. But that is not why I decided to vlog today. I decided to vlog because I have lots to update you guys on. Um, oh my god. So, right after I did that Paris trip, I think the very next day or a few days later, I picked up a Buenos Aires trip. And so I decided to go to the gym during the layover, and they have a really good gym, by the way. So I was doing some squats on the squat machine, and I must have put some really heavy weight on the squat rack because on the fourth rep, my back, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. Like my back like blew out. My, I got like a really, really sharp, very, very painful pain in my lower back. I immediately had to stop the, the squat, the workout. It was really scary. I had to sit down because my back was really hurting. I've never felt such a pain like that in my life. It was super excruciating. So I grabbed my phone because I wanted to call John and tell him what had just happened. And then all of a sudden, I started like profusely sweating. So I was like, you could see like the sweat coming through like my shirt. And then not only that, but then my eyesight started to go like completely blurry. Like blurry is an understatement as to what was happening. It was like beyond blurry and everything was very, very, very bright. And I couldn't even make out like the words on my phone. Luckily, I knew like where John's number was, but I couldn't even see my phone like to click on the names or the numbers or if I wanted to text, I couldn't see. I, I, I just couldn't see for like a good two to three minutes. Like my eyesight was like so, so bad. All I could see was lights. I could see the lights from the gym and it was a very scary feeling. And then I started feeling really faint and I felt like my pressure, like my blood pressure had gone down. It was really scary. So then I had to lay down like on one of like the, like the bench press machines. So I laid down there <laughs> and eventually I felt better enough to like be able to like go back to my room but i couldn't get up i couldn't get up off of the bench machine because my back was hurting so bad so i had to throw myself onto the ground and then i had to push myself up to be able to stand up and i could not walk it was well i could walk but it was very painful to walk um it was mostly my my lower back that was really really hurting Oh no, my battery's dying. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna have to charge my camera. But that's what happened. So then for a good like week and a half, almost two weeks, my back was hurting. The worst part of it had like passed after maybe like two or three days. But I still felt like a lingering like achiness, like sore kind of pain in my lower back. And I wanted it to go away because I wanted to start working out again because I stopped working out completely because it was a little painful. So I decided to go to the chiropractor. I went to the chiropractor. I, I went like a few times, like three times to the chiropractor. He made it feel better. Um, I don't know. I still feel like I have like a little lingering, tiny pain. I don't know, maybe that'll be there forever. I am getting older. I don't know. I really don't know, but I worked out this morning. I, working out was not painful whatsoever. It's just kind of like I have like a very, very, very mild lower back achiness, if that makes any sense. I don't know. This is all new to me. I've never really had like pain in my body or back pain or anything like that before so anyway 
Um, sorry to bore you with that. So that happened last week. I picked up a Milan trip. So yeah, I went to Milan, which is, I know there was a huge coronavirus outbreak in Milan and I actually was really nervous to travel there, but I had picked up the trip myself. So I did it to myself. So I said, you know what? I'll just be very careful. I'll, I'll wash my hands. I'll do what is required. You know, wash my hands, sanitize, don't touch my face, things like that. So that's what I did. I ended up having such a great time in Milan because I worked with a really cool uh, new coworker who I've never met before. So we had a good time there. I should have vlogged it. I don't know why I didn't. I think I may have forgotten my camera at home. I can't remember why I didn't vlog it, but I should have because it was a really fun time. Um, just went out to dinner there. My company covered $75 of our hotel expenses for food, so we didn't have to leave the hotel. I left the hotel anyways to go to the supermarket, but we had dinner at the hotel. It was all covered by my airline. Um, so that was really nice of them. It was, And the food was so, so good, oh my gosh. So as you guys know, in the past few vlogs, I think I did mention to you that I was trying to learn Italian, and I was trying to teach myself Italian, because I already know Italian kind of because I grew up around my family who speak, speaks Italian. So I've been trying to like pick up Italian, I've been trying to watch YouTube videos in Italian, I've been trying to watch movies in Italian. All these little ways to try and perfect my Italian. So I've decided that I'm gonna go to Italy for two weeks and take an Italian course. I'm gonna be taking the class in Rome. As of now, I'm, I'm only 90% sure that I'll be doing it next month. I, it's, it is very sudden, but I think I might as well just do it now and get it out of the way because if I keep putting it off, I'm gonna be putting it off forever. So. I'm just gonna do it next month, April. So as soon as it's time to request my schedule for the month of April, I'm gonna put in for those days off so that I can go to Rome and take these classes. I've already done all my research on this school, on this Italian school. Um, they provide boarding. Sounds like a really fun and exciting time. So I will definitely be vlogging that, me going to Italy. Um, but as soon as John gets home, um, he will talk to you guys and tell you what he thinks. He's very. He's being very, very supportive. Obviously, he'll come visit at some point during the two weeks. My goal is to become an Italian speaker for my airline. So I want to become a qualified Italian speaker. So I definitely want to go immerse myself in the language. That way I can come back to the States, take the Italian qualification tests, and become a qualified Italian speaker, which does give me somewhat of a priority when it comes to being able to um, request or hold trips that fly to Italy. So that's really my goal. That's really what I want to do. I blabbed enough. I'm going to go put my camera on the charger. As soon as my camera is all charged up, we will open up these packages. One hour later. Mr. John's home. Hello. Hello. How is everyone? They're good. Good. Um, I haven't vlogged in like a week and a half. Yeah, he's bad. Um, I've been telling him to do stuff and he didn't. He didn't do his Milan trip. I was telling them about that already that I didn't have the camera with me. Excuses. Coronavirus scare. Everyone's scared. But anyways, <laughs> I'm not scared of the coronavirus, by the way. I'm just gonna take um, proper precautions. Yeah, I think I washed my hands so much since yesterday at the bar. And today, anytime I touch something, I'm like, oh, girl, okay, yeah. gotta wash my hands. But we have some stuff for you. Actually, this one right here says for John. John, so this one is for you specifically. I'll let you open that baby up. Oh, it's blurry. You sure? It looks like you already opened it. No, I didn't open it, I promise. What's, what's, sure? in, what's in there? You did open it. Oh, wow. wow. So nice. Nice. Yeah, I little brush. I was gonna use more brushes. Actually, I was thinking like the other day, I was like, no, I don't have enough brushes. That is so nice. It's perfect. And Love you, it. you were using those brushes to paint to paint your D and D things. What? What's in there? Whoa! How does Randy know you like mint chocolate? Is this from Randy. This is from Randy. Oh my god! How does he know you like mint chocolate Milanos? Oh my god! I only raised. Have we said you. that? Have I we love these things. Have we said that in the vlog before? Let me try one. Let me just try oh my one. gosh! How fresh this Wait. Is. Have we said that in the vlog before? Because he loves mint chocolate. I'm sure we've said that somewhere. We have to have. There's no way. He loves the mint chocolate ice cream so okay. much. And he loves mint chocolate Milanos. What else is in there? It looks like a um, pad, but there's something. Magnetic clips. Oh, not nice. So... For the fridge? And my uh, my board, I think. Oh, nice. You can never have enough magnetic clips. And then I love this, let your creativity shine. That's oh, really that sweet. is really Thank nice. You. Open it. I want to see the pages. It's just, it's just you know, like doodling and drawing and sketching. Oh, nice. <gasps> There's somebody at the door. Ignore him. We don't want any. He already saw us. The same person who was here yesterday, we ignored him. He wants to sell us something. He already saw us because the, the blinds are open. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. 
It sounds great, and normally I they want to sell the windows. So the the building is you want to try that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was easy. Windows. Um. Okay. Back to our regular scheduled program. Yeah. It's back to important things. Oh, another one. Oh. <gasps> Wait, can I have that? So I can write all my Italian words. Well, actually, it's yeah, it's a it's a notepad. Can I have it, Randy? Do you mind if I have this? <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually like all my favorite colors, like black, white, and gold. You Show me. Go. Take a chance, dream big, always shine bright. No. Yeah, can I have this? Yes. Yeah, if you go to if you do the Italy thing, you can. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Because there's another artist sketchbook which I actually like this one a lot too. Oh, there's a lot of notepads in there. Yeah, I can have one of them. Let me see that one. Oh, so it says create. Create artist. And I really should. <gasps> oh. And I put the sketchbook Wait, did, to me so he doesn't take it. Doesn't. Did we tell them that you applied for grad school? I don't did, know. We, did we say that in the vlog? Okay, we'll tell them. Tell them no, now. I, I applied to grad... I, I thought I did. I so I applied know. to grad school um, here in South Florida. Yay! I haven't heard anything back yet. Um, it so takes a while. It takes a while. So I'm really hoping that... So maybe, accepted. maybe this the fact that he got you this stuff is a sign that you're gonna get into grad school. All right. So he, he sent a, a note. Dear John. Oh wow, this is actually a while ago. This got here really late. What? No, I just haven't been to the PO box in a while. No, I mean, is this the one I got? Maybe got lost? Because um, it's it's dated June 2019. Actually, June. Yes. Seriously? Yes. No effing way. Yeah. I'm wondering. <gasps> Wait, really? June? Yeah. Well, it does say right here, return to sender. Oh, so it must, yeah. So, so Randy must have sent this a while ago. <gasps> oh my gosh, Randy, we literally just got this today. March, today was today, That's March crazy. March 3rd, March 3rd, 2020. So this is, this wow. is, yeah. He, I don't trust those P.O. boxes anymore. I might have to go to a different P.O. box location. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Wow. Um, I was wondering, I mean, that's why I said, oh, these are still... Oh, my God. Because these have a sell-by date that passed, but we obviously sent it before that. Are those any good? <laughs> yeah, they're still good. I eat them. It's sell-by, not eat-by. Yeah, they're delicious. All right, so it's Dear John, I hope you're doing well. You're such an amazing person. I hope you enjoy this package of goodies. Remember to always continue to do what you love and be happy from Randy. Thank you, Randy, because sometimes I need that reminding. Um, sometimes I get to other people, but sometimes I need it, and I really appreciate that. That is very sweet. That is sweet. Wow, very, I can't very this thoughtful. Was June. That's I'm shook. My favorite thing is the, <laughs> this, which I'm stealing from you. <laughs> so okay, so what do you think about me doing the Italian courses? So I was telling them about it. So I told them he should do it. I think it's a good idea. I think any class, um, almost taking a class, is good for you. Just to, like you know, for knowledge, to keep your mind working. And it's a language class. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is a two week immersion. Um, it's pretty mm -hmm. intense. Well, you can do as little as one week. I would do the two week. Why not? You only live But one. then, but then, you're gonna miss me too much if I leave for two weeks. Well, no, because I was hoping to go for at least a week. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, but I, but then maybe I could take the immersion for one week, but I don't think it would do me as, as good as it would do you. Anyway, but I think it's a good idea. So, because I've always wanted to do stuff like that when I was younger. And maybe when I get back to school, I can do that again, because they're always doing study abroad. I'm doing it. I'm going to do it next month, and he'll come visit, obviously, at some point. Even if it is for a few days. Yeah, no, not a few days. You have, you have a piece of thread hanging I from know, your shirt right I there. <laughs> if I pull it, it's just going to... Oh, just rip it. It's going to unravel. i got to cut it. Here's another package. There. Oh, it smells nice, this package. Okay, so this package is from... It's saying that it's from Samuel from Maryland, Maryland, and <laughs> MD. It's Mary's land. Maryland. So I haven't been to the P.O. box in a while, so I stopped by today on my way home from the gym, which I was actually not gonna stop. I was, I was being super lazy, but. Jeez. This box smells good, so it's, I feel like there's something. I think that's probably a candle. Yay, yep. vanilla lime, because we actually need candles. Like, we, we have zero candles in this house. Yeah. Mm, it smells really good. Oh wait, it says... What does mm. the bag say? Stephanie? Maybe? Is this for Stephanie? Stephanie, yes! I think so! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, maybe this is for Stephanie. Stephanie doesn't want to see me because she thinks that I was next to the coronavirus, which... I mean, technically, I was in the area that coronavirus was in, but I didn't get it, so she's nervous to see me now. Stephanie is... She's a nurse. Hypochondriac. Oh, oh, okay, look, so 
he put our names on it. Okay, nice. Okay, so, so it's the same flavor candle. Same, same flavor. flavor, really? You're gonna eat that? Same flavor. <laughs> The same scent. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh my gosh. We still needed a candle. Yeah, we did. Because this house is smelling kind of like neutral. This house is smelling like him. That's why you, little buddy, it smells like you. Ooh, okay. So it's a candle topper. That's pretty. Oh, cool. What is that? Fancy. Uh, yeah, what? what? You can probably, yeah, let me see it up close. You can put it, I think you can put it, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, what, okay, there we are. Okay, yeah. Ah, well, okay, you can use it on the candle when the flame is subject to like a draft. Oh, to, like, windiness. smart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like in here with, with the, air, with the uh, air, AC vents. Yeah, that's fancy. Home pizza. Francesco, look, it's Dr. Seuss. The card is just for you and not to be shared in a vlog, but you make sure the gift in the vlog if you like. Okay. So we're not gonna share it. Okay, and then we got one more package. This package is from Ivan, 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 it doesn't say where from, but thank you, Ivan. It probably was somewhere. It's an Amazon package. What do we have here? How funny is this? Shut up. What Guess what it? it is. I I have an idea, it's a coffee grinder? It's a coffee grinder. What? <laughs> uh, let's see him struggle. We needed this. We got a coffee grinder. Oh my God, that's huge. Oh my gosh. That is really, what? Yay! That's really grinder. nice, yes. Thank you, Ivan. Oh my god, he must have seen in the vlog that we said that we didn't have one. We actually do not have a coffee grinder. Oh, nice. So the coffee that we received from Mel and Sean, we still have yet to grind it. Yeah, But um, now we can, now, now we I can. can. Wow, that is super thoughtful. Thank you for the gift, I appreciate it. Oh my god. That's really nice. Not expecting that. So we have like uh, a bullet, uh, not a ninja, but the Gio, bullet. Uh -oh. why are you eating stuff? Oh, Gio's eating stuff, stop it, Gio. You're a bad doggy. So um, yeah, we're gonna use the bullet, and it has like a small attachment. Uh, see if that was gonna work, but this is way better. Thank you. Gio's breath smells. <laughs> Here, scratch and sniff. See if you can smell that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got back from the Dollar Tree and from Publix. Publix is our grocery store here in Florida. So Gio loves these little treats. They have them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Yeah, look how excited he just got. What? You know what this is? You know what this is? What is that? So these particular treats are for skin and coat. And then I also get him the one with glucosamine, glucosamine and chondroitin. So since he's an older dog, it's good to give him glucosamine and chondroitin. You want treats? No, I know. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you. Calm down. Sit. No, uh, uh. Sit. Good boy. What are you doing over there? Oh, I thought he said sit. I wanted my treat. No, <laughs> you don't get a treat, you weirdo. <laughs> All right, you gonna go walk him? Vamos, Gio. Go walk him, go, go. <laughs> he wants more. Good. We'll give you more later. Okay, so I'm about to make some dinner. I'm gonna make some turkey burgers, um, which I buy from Trader Joe's. These are really good turkey burgers. Also, these sweet potato fries from Trader Joe's are everything. It's just $2. So cheap, so inexpensive, and they're actually really tasty. Also, look guys, let me show you our brand new coffee grinder. How cute is it? The time is now 4.12. I still haven't been called on reserve. I'm hoping that they won't use me for the rest of the day. And these are now ready to go into the oven. So they'll be in there probably about like 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Mmm, how good does that look? So, I have my portion here. John is still not eating yet, so I'm just gonna have my dinner now because I am starved. So I got some organic ketchup, also from Trader Joe's. This video is not sponsored by Trader Joe's. Also, as you guys might see right here, I have all these cups. These are all from like Disney Cruise Line, Walt Disney World. These are from Universal Studios. And I think we are gonna go either donate them to some thrift store or Goodwill or something like that, which I don't know why they would want that, or just recycle it, right? I don't know what to do, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think um, I should do with all those cups. And I still have more. That's like half of what we still have. We have more in the pantry. All right, I'm gonna eat some dinner. The food was really good. Now I'm heating up John's food because he was actually mowing lawn, which is why he didn't eat. So I'm heating up his turkey burger there. I know that looks kind of gross. <laughs> and then here are his fries. Also guys, uh, on my last vlog, as you guys saw, I, was, I made French macarons in France. So I actually did get to try the recipe out here at home, uh, I think about a week ago. 
So I made some French macarons and um, I actually posted it on Instagram. I didn't vlog that obviously, but I did post it on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do so because sometimes if I'm not vlogging, I will post stuff on Instagram. So while you eat dinner, can we watch uh, Toy Story 4 on Disney Plus? Why is it blurry? All right, so look, so on Disney Plus, <laughs> on Disney Plus, I am Penelope and John is wreck -It Ralph. Oh my God, they have so much stuff on here that I didn't even know. All right, there it is, Toy Story 4. How's your food? Mm, it's good. How was mowing the lawn? Tired. Two hours later. We just finished Toy Story. What did you think about the movie? It was kind of sad. But, I mean, you know, it's still happy because, you know, he found himself. But yeah, it was really great. Especially the Forky because he looks so real. Forky. I thought it was cute and I thought it was sad. Hey, hey look, who's just, look who's just coming in. Hey, you. Hey, little sneezy. So Gio has been sneezing a lot. You know I don't know. Means. Yeah, do you guys know what that means? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't he's know. got allergies. They're gonna be like, he's got allergies. I don't know, but he's been sneezing a lot. I don't know how. I've been sneezing a lot too, so it is allergies. Maybe it is. Right, Gio. You have allergies. So that's gonna be the end of this vlog. I'll keep you guys posted on my whole Italy uh, two-week move. I've already looked into cooking classes in Rome, so I'm really excited about that. How to make fresh pasta and tiramisu and gelato. He's definitely gonna be coming to visit me in Rome. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Gio. Say bye, Gio. Say bye, bye.